Well, this is Master Use, and this report is about Magix Pro X and the new Magix Vegas 14. Now, as you can see here, some stuff is missing. It's because I'm moving into my new editing room. Nice. It's going to be way nicer, way bigger. It's going to be really nice. And so I'm slowly moving stuff out, and I had bought the Vegas Magix Vegas Pro 14 and already had the Magix Pro X. And I've used Magix for many years. Uh, this was my first experience with Vegas. And of course, I got the new version of Vegas, the Pro 14, which is the Ma which is the uh, Magix Vegas upgrade. Okay? It's their first revision of the Vegas. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm going to give you, some people may consider it a harsh report. Now, I have used Magix, as I said, for a lot of years because it's fast, it's simple. They have a great layout compared to a lot of video editing programs they have a great layout. Magix is on the short side when it comes to being able to use a lot of other plugins a lot of times like the general Red Giant a lot of their programs uh, plugins and uh, some of the other pro plugins that you can use with a lot of editors that Vegas has you don't have that opportunity with Magix Pro X. So it's a little more limited uh, on FX plugins but in general I could make a nice video or a good video for YouTube very fast with it and the layout was excellent it really was it's very very intuitive it works very well I could just click on the the uh, audio line and the audio adjustments come up or I click on the video line and the video adjustments come up not so with Vegas now this was my first experience in Vegas and I had to play for, for about a month or so and I really don't like the layout of Vegas. I look at, think it looks childish. It's poorly laid out. Uh, it does have a lot more plugins that come with it, but it's more expensive. Okay, I think Magix is a $400 program. The Vegas Pro is, I think, a $600 program. So it should, but the layout is really poor. The color scheme stinks, and. I can't go to the timeline, click, and have some certain things come up like I could in Magix Pro X. So even though Magix Pro X has taken over Vegas, I'm not sure where they're going to go with it because to me, it slows me down greatly having to go through the whole list, figure out what I need, pick out the FX plugin, and plug it in and then use it. It just doesn't work. It's not intuitive. It's broken where it doesn't just sort of connect. It doesn't connect very easily. You have to go ahead, pick it, plug it in, and then go from there. Now, can you do a lot of things with Vegas? Obviously, you can do a lot of things with Vegas. And obviously, it has a lot of more FX plugins than Magic Pro X. But the problem is with Magic Pro X, is Magix going to keep making it? That's the question. They have bought Sony Vegas. Uh, I'm sure that cost them a lot of money. Why would they need two different programs? Are they going to keep the two different programs? At the same time, I'm caught where I wish Magix Pro X handled all the different types of film that Vegas does and had all the FX programs that Vegas does because it's way more intuitive, looks nicer, the layout is better, it just works, it's easier. Versus the Sony, which is not as intuitive, doesn't work as well, but it does have more with it. But time is money, and with Magix, I was able to whip something out, and I could actually put out a pretty decent movie, even though they had limited FX. So, the problem is, do you stay with Magix, which are they even going to continue making it, or do you go to Vegas Pro, or do we find another software? Well, I'm leaning towards finding another software, to be honest. Uh, the Vegas Pro 14 just doesn't work for me. It's 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 not laid out well. Things don't connect. Uh, it takes much longer to use. And the problem is the Vegas Pro X. Are they going to continue making it? Well, all right. That is my review of Vegas Pro 14 and Magix Pro X. You take it. Share the knowledge. I hope it helps you. 
Uh, I don't have any idea which way Vegas is going to go or which way the Magus Pro X is going to go or what Magus is going to do. Most likely, if they got rid of one, it'd probably be the Magic Pro X, to be honest, because the Vegas platform, I'm sure, cost them a lot of money. Though so this is mass to use, think about that. Look at other editing systems. Uh, there are a lot of them out there, and uh, unfortunately, some of them are not very intuitive, even though they do a lot of stuff. If it's intuitive, it's a way more effective program. All right, I got to get back to packing and moving into the new editing room. This is mass to use. Bye bye. <laughs>